Washington, D.C. Now it's time for our entertainment report, and joining us now is Heather Maxwell. Hello, Heather. Yes, African music fans are preparing to soon flock to East Africa. Let's take a look. Out of hundreds of music festivals happening every year in Africa, the best and the brightest come down to a handful. And Sauti Zabusara, that's Swahili for sounds of wisdom, is one of them. Next weekend, on the exquisite island of Zanzibar in East Africa, the festival runs its 21st edition. Its mission is to celebrate the richness and diversity of African music. And here's where it gets unique and exciting. It gives priority to music that is African, diverse, unique, women artists, young and emerging talents, full of energy, and 100% live. The music happens in the historical city of Stonetown on three stages, and there are about 25 acts from all over the continent, including Madi Kuti from Nigeria, Selor Mutukudzi from Zimbabwe, Zoe Modiga from South Africa, Wakazi from Tanzania, and many, many more. Okay, so I spoke with Madi Kuti, one of the headliners performing at Saudi and the grandson of the Afrobeat icon Fela Kuti from his home in Lagos. And we will get to that in a moment. But first, Roger Muntu, host of VOA's RM show, is with me to talk about Zanzibar. Zanzibar. That's where it's all happening again. Yes, right? Zanzibar. Uh. So we were both in Tanzania recently. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to go to Zanzibar this time, though I did go in 2017. Mm -hmm. But you slipped off. Yeah and had a good time there. So. I had to go to Zanzibar. I had to. First of all, <laughs> I wanted to know where Sauti Zabusara is going to happen, right? Right. Uh, which, um, you know, means uh, sounds of wisdom. Yes. And, and, and I really felt that when I was in Zanzibar because I had to explore the art, the culture, and things like that when I was there. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, the uh, beautiful scenery and all And you the, were dancing. I was um, dancing in some villages. Yes. I, I went dancing with the villagers, <laughs> and I was swimming with tortoises and all those things that I was doing there. It, did you know the dances? Did they seem completely different? No, well, no, I did not. And, uh -huh. and that's a good thing. See, as you see, you like me dancing there. Yeah. They were actually teaching me how to dance. I they can were, see that. Yeah, they're actually teaching you were, you were me. Up. But look, you know, I got my move, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I you got this. Up. I had to. Yes, I had to represent the U.S., man. Look. <laughs> but it was just great. what about this? Yeah. Swimming. Oh, that, that's me swimming. with. This is one of the things that I could never, never thought I could do in my life. Uh, I, don't think I, I don't think I would. I was scared. I was really afraid to do yeah, this, right? Yeah, but they were friendly enough. They were friendly enough, and they were hugging me left and right. And oh. the, as I was telling you, you know I had to protect myself, right? <laughs> But you survived. You're here in I, one piece. I, I survived. As far as we can see. Exactly. I survived. I survived. <laughs> well, Heather. it's too bad that neither place. of us are going. That's what I was thinking. Uh, next I wish weekend. we could. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, and that's but, next weekend yeah, already. Yeah, it's next weekend yeah. already. Um, now, getting back to what's happening there next weekend, here is Grammy nominated Afrobeat musician Made Kuti on the matter. Made Kuti, it's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Uh, I want to hear how you are feeling about the upcoming performance in Zanzibar at Sauti Zabusara. I'm very excited. I know my band is extremely excited. It's the first time we're playing in an African country outside of Nigeria. And we were fortunate enough to play uh, in Paris two years ago. But this time it's, it's something special because a lot of us have never been to East Africa. So there's an entire culture there that we want to, you know, experience the beautiful people. We hear Zanzibar is a wonderful place to be. I've never been there myself, so I'm I'm really much I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, we're very ready. We have a lot of new numbers we want to share, and the band is excited. So I'm sure it'll be great. That's fantastic. Wow, Roger Made Kuti. Legendary. I know it. That's what it. I can tell you. This is a legendary family going there, as you just mentioned. Yes. First time ever. And theme. guess what? Yeah. He told me oh. later yeah. that he just got married, and so they're going to extend the vacation and make it a vacation what for him. What an occasion, is. right? Yes. yes. Wow, an opportunity to just do both. Same I told time. him he should swim with the turtles. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I did. Not everybody I can do that. <laughs> maybe, maybe his wife will, too. Yeah, who you knows? Know? Exactly. That, that could be something. Right. Oh, uh, well, anyway. I'm sure that anyone who goes to the festival next weekend is going to have an amazing time. Mm. Thank you, Roger. Thank Thanks for joining me. Thank you for, for having me. me. Yeah. It's great. Esther, back to you.
Thank you, Heather, and thank you, Roger. Be sure to join Heather Maxwell's Entertainment Reports every Friday right here on Africa 54. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website, mvoaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, have a great weekend. <music>